Let's talk about the top five TikTok videos that real estate agents should be putting out if they want to skyrocket their personal brand as well as attract clients at scale. In this video, what I'm going to do is not just explain to you what these top five videos are, but I'm actually going to show you exact examples of people that have done this very well and use these videos to attract clients. So this video is going to be extremely tactical and practical because you're going to see exact videos and examples that agents are using and are crushing. What's up guys? My name is Mike Sherby, the Experience Realty. I train thousands of agents every year to skyrocket their business, leveraging social media. And one thing that I just want to say before diving into this video, if you want my brand new free video training, that I just launched, drop a comment below because I dive into not only how to leverage YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, and TikTok videos, but also how to rank your videos number one on YouTube and some of the strategies that are working incredibly well in this current market. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Okay, so video number one is gonna be property tours. This is gonna be an obvious one and a couple of the others you might not be expecting, but property tours absolutely crush it. And the best part is, is it's very easy. You can be doing these videos whenever you're previewing a listing, whenever you're just to about to list it and your videographers or you're going through and doing a full length YouTube video. You could do this when you're previewing properties with buyers. You can even just go ask agents with really nice listings if you can go do this or new model home tours, things like that. But property tours work incredibly well. They get incredible engagement. And the best part is they're super easy. So let's show you a great example of a property tour of what you can do. And one of the things you wanna make sure that you're doing with these property tours is overlaying a trending song. Okay, video number two is gonna be community and market comparisons. This has been working incredibly well for one of the younger agents in my organization. And based on these videos that are getting over 100,000 views, he's now been able to establish partnerships with local developers where now he's got like a $14 million land development deal because of these videos. And this is a really incredible way to showcase why your market is better than other markets or why certain communities are, you know, maybe more preferable in your opinion than others and the benefits and pros and cons that go along with each. So let's show you an example of this because it's a really easy one. It's going to demonstrate your market knowledge. And also it's going to make sure that you can control the narrative in order to showcase and highlight where you want to either farm or work or what your specialty niche is. So what is the main difference between Sarasota and Fort Myers? Let's go and explore both the pros and cons of both cities. First, if we're talking about outdoor activities, Sarasota clearly blows Fort Myers out of the water when it comes to this. Just one example is that Sarasota has this 12 plus mile paved trail called the Legacy Trail. If your focus is on schools, Sarasota also also outranks Fort Myers by far. They are ranked number two in the entire state. Comparing downtown, so downtown Fort Myers seems to have gotten a little bit more rundown over the years. Downtown Sarasota is actually still pretty good with really nice restaurants and shops and then also walking distance to Bayfront Park. Lastly, comparing beaches, nothing is going to compare to Siesta Key Beach. Fort Myers beaches are okay, but they're not the greatest. Number three is gonna be relocation videos. And these are not just videos about relocating, but more so videos that are going to be tailored towards relocation buyers. And what I mean by that is, it's not just a video on TikTok talking about, hey, if you're looking to move to here, here's what you need to know. But rather, it could be things like, five things you need to know if you're moving to Florida. It could also be things like pros and cons of living in Florida, cost of living in Florida, all of these things that relocation buyers would be looking into and concerned about. It's a great way to highlight this. So let's show you an example of this because this is one that's very easy. And also the best part is, is you can just use the bullet points from your YouTube video that you'd be creating on this topic in longer form with more context and just use it in order to create the outline for your short form video, crush it out. And now you've got both. Here's three things you need to know before moving to Florida. And stick around to the end and I'll give you a bonus tip. But number one is cost of living. Florida's cost of living ranges about in the national average, plus or minus a couple of points, but definitely cheaper than most northeastern states. Also, Florida has no state income tax, which is a big draw for people moving down here from the north. Number two is, of course, the weather. We all know it's hot here in Florida in the summertime, but that's not why people come. People come for the wintertime weather. The average wintertime temperature here in Florida is about 76 degrees. Right now, it's the end of March, it's about 79, it's beautiful. So, this is a big reason people come here. Number three, there's a big difference between North Florida and South Florida. The temperatures differ, the atmosphere and the culture differs. So make sure you know the difference. And 
bonus tip is the golf. With year-round playable weather and 1,400 courses throughout the state, this is a golfer's destination. Click the plus sign. We'll see you next time. Number four is going to be top lists of something. And what I mean by this is could be best beaches or top five beaches in your market, top five places to watch the sunset if you're living in Hawaii or something like that, or best restaurants, best pizza spots, best ice cream stops, whatever you want to talk about related to your market that people would be searching for, looking at top restaurants. And again, all of these things that people either A, visiting there and potentially consider moving there would be interested in, or B, people that actually already live there and are just looking looking to go do something new on the weekend, on the evening, or on a holiday. So these videos, again, are incredibly easy. It's a great opportunity to highlight trending businesses and kind of lean into that. And also one of the cool things is that oftentimes if you take this video, repurpose it for Instagram Reels and tag that business, then I've seen multiple situations where that business will actually share your Instagram Reel even though it started on TikTok, and now you're gonna get in front of a brand new audience, in front of thousands of people that are following that business. So let's show you a quick example of this so that you have a really clear understanding of what you can do to highlight some of the features and unique amenities and benefits of your local market. Let's go and explore the top three restaurants on Siesta Key, let's go. Coming in at number three, we have Spearfish Grill. It's right when you enter onto Siesta Key. When you come to Spearfish Grill, I highly recommend that you get the fish tacos with the fish of the day, but honestly, you can't go wrong with anything on the menu. Coming in at number two is going to be Star Thai and Sushi, walking distance to the beach. When you come to Star Thai, I highly recommend you get the Volcano Lava Sushi Roll. It's amazing. Coming in at number one, we have the amazing Summer House Steak and Seafood. When you go eat at the Summer House, highly recommend the lobster tail. It is to die for. Now comment below, what is your go-to seafood order at a restaurant? And number five, bring it full circle, is going to be lifestyle. And this is really important because at the end of the day even though we're all realtors even though we're helping people sell homes people don't just want to see all homes people want to get to know you what makes you different because at the end of the day people are working with you not a home so you really want to showcase to people what are your passions what are your hobbies what is your lifestyle like what makes you different and give people an opportunity to get to know the real you in a very transparent and authentic way because at the end of the day the goal on social media is to get people to like know and trust you and if you can get people to do that that's ultimately going to separate you from the other agents that don't don't really have that intimacy that buyers and sellers are looking for because they want to work with somebody that they would enjoy actually spending time with. So let me show you an example from my own profile about this, talking about when I took my dad out for a drive in my Lamborghini. This is a video that shows people that I'm very focused on my family, that cars are my passion, that I love getting into the mountains, and it's a video that performed really well on my own TikTok profile. So let me show you this video and then we'll wrap it up. Today I'm taking my dad on the prettiest drive in Canada in my Lamborghini. Okay, so bringing it full circle, those are five examples showing you exact videos that agents have put out that have been able to attract clients or scale their personal brand and the following. And again, the goal is ultimately with these videos to drive traffic to a couple different places. Number one, your bio link. And with the bio link, I recommend using something like Linktree because you can include relocation guides, community guides, buyers, sellers guides, investors guides, free booking a call with you or free home consultations, things like that, and strategically leveraging the massive organic engagement that TikTok is allowing agents to get by driving traffic to something that is going to allow you to convert. And the second place you wanna be driving traffic to is your Instagram and your YouTube channel. And the reason being is because you can connect both. And usually, most agents are a little bit more active on both of those platforms, so you can funnel traffic to other platforms that you're active on and cross promote your audience to scale all three of them. So if you have any other questions, just drop a comment below. And if you want my free training, do the same. Otherwise, thanks so much for tuning in. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.